Dolly could have had trouble identifying BJ in the dim light at 20 feet, then how could she possibly know that it was a gun that BJ was throwing in the dumpster? Because I know it was. But you still don't know why you threw the gun in the trash. Well, what was I doing with Frank's gun? If I didn't kill him, then, then how did I end up with it? And what about the gunpowder residue that was on your dress? Yeah, that dress we all know that I was wearing the night that Frank was killed. And then when Dolly mentioned seeing BJ by the dumpster, BJ remembered that. Each step that we uncover, BJ's finding out more and more that she's remembering that she did it. So it would seem. Julia, I think we ought to do what you suggest. Go for a change in plea. I think we have to. I'll talk to Arnold, and if I can convince him of extreme emotional distress, he may go for involuntary manslaughter, and then there's a very good chance Mason will reduce the time that you'd have to serve. What kind of a sentence would that bring? If Arnold agrees to a low term, B.J. could get probation and undergo psych psychiatric care for two years. Maybe that's the way we should go. No, I'm sorry I don't agree. It's the same thing as admitting she's guilty. Now, there's still some time that's not accounted for. Warren, if we try to win this trial, it'll be suicide. If we continue with it, Arnold proves her guilt. B.J. could be looking at 15 to life in a state prison. I'm sorry, B.J. I'm so sorry.